Hey guys, what's going on? It's JMT. Welcome back to another Evade video. Today, we're going to go ahead and rank some of the unusual submissions inside of the Evade Discord. This is something I, I'm surprised I haven't done before. It was on the it was on the list for quite some time. I just wanted them to go ahead and build up some submissions so we can make a big beefy episode. But these are all going to be unusual creations by the fan base of Evade, and they were put in the submissions tab on the Evade Discord, hopefully to get inside of the game. And in today's video, we're going to bring some light to those submissions and actually give them some ratings and some feedbacks as well. Obviously, this is going to be opinion related IMO. So don't get your tidy whities in a bunch if you don't like my opinion. We're going to go ahead and get started now. The first one here is by All New Lows, and the title for the one on the left is called Fountain of Delight, and the one on the right is called Beaten Bruised or Beaten Bruised. Oh boy. Okay. I really like the one on the left. The one on the left has like shiny pink effects around the images coming out of the head, and they all have different ones that light up as well. However, if you were wearing this with a hat or anything like on your Roblox character, I don't know if you'd be able to see the, the little logo so much, like the, the stars and the hearts. I don't know if that would be shown too much. This looks really good on a head with nothing, but if I think if you had some cosmetics on, you wouldn't really be able to see this unusual. However, I do like the looks of it. Maybe if the unusuals will, will like sprout out more so you could actually see them, I, maybe that would be that'd be dope. But overall, that looks really cool. The one on the right looked like a Halloween submission, but this, of course, was uploaded on November. So this would have been after the Halloween. It looks really cool. It's got a bunch of scratch marks and like blood or red effects effects coming out of it, something like that. It looks very flashy indeed. So I don't know if that'd be too disturbing or not, but overall, I think that looks dope as well. The first one gets an A plus from your boy. Of course, I need to know your guys' opinions on these in the comment section below as well. So let me know. The next one is by Can't Count to 10 and it's called Hellfire Lavender Inferno version 0.2. The unusual effect, which contains two color variants, each with the server script that makes the lights flicker. And it's, it has total particles as well. So this one should be very dope. Let's go ahead and see. Oh boy. Oh my god. Bro. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> First of all, production quality. Wh what? <laughs> what was this? The introduction on this unusual showcasing is insane. Oh my god. This looks very hellish. This looks like two unusuals put into one. Unless it has like the fire effect and then where the eyes are, it kind of bursts out the sockets right there. Ooh, overall that looks really cool. Oh, I was just gonna say, there better be different color variants. I love that it has different color variants. There might be more because the video is still going on. Does he have another color variant, like a red or something like that? You know, I think it's just purple and uh, purple and orange. Those look really cool. I will not lie. It's got like the uh, little circle particles shooting out and looks like fire combustion. And then the eyes are really glowy. This looks really cool. This does look like a good unusual in the dark as well. It looks very eerie. And the title of the video is actually called edgy. I wonder why this one deserves an A rating as well. That is super dope. And th this guy does really good on a, like a video production quality for showcasing. So A plus to you on that as well. The next one is by Geo Fennec. And the title is Lethargic Night. So this one, of course, looks like nighttime. We got the little Zs. That means he is either snoozing or sleeping. It has a theme to it, which is really cool. The the, uh, the moon honestly reminds me of like a bitten into apple or a banana of some sort. This unusual, I feel like would look really dope if the moon wasn't in the picture. I'm not saying that it doesn't look bad. It just the moon kind of looks offset compared to the rest of the unusual. The black little aura coming around the head makes it look really, it makes it look like some type of, you know, hypnosis. That that he's like in this current state of sleeping or something like that. And the sparkles kind of give off that effect as well. However, the sparkles themselves, I think there is an unusual. I think it was the first unusual that came out. It was a sparkle effect. So the sparkles with this unusual probably wouldn't make it in the game just because the sparkles themselves is an unusual. And combining that with another unusual, some people might not like that idea. So, but overall, I like the hypnotic illusion effect to it in the Z's. But if it were me, I'd probably get rid of the moon and perhaps the sparkles as well. I don't know. But yeah, another good creation for an unusual. The same guy has actually created multiple unusuals as well. So this one's also by Geofenic. It's a resubmission, he says, and the title is Hazardous Radiation. This is an all body unusual. I'm not going to lie. It reminds me of like a ghostly nature to it just because it has like, we got the, you know, circle. It looks like a radar ping of some sort. I don't know what the f that's about, but it has like a little, you guys see like the fog in the background of it. That, that's why it reminds me of like some type of Captain Dutchman thingy or something like that from SpongeBob, the Flying Dutchman. That's what it reminds me of. Overall, really cool though. Big body unusuals to me, 
I don't know if I would be interested in that. I like unusuals that are, you know, around a certain part of the body, but overall a huge body unusual. Yeah, there's obviously got to be some sorts of big body unusuals coming to the game. I think the Shining Sparkles actually moved to a big body unusual, but to me, probably something I wouldn't wear. I don't know if the thing at the bottom, like the caution tape that's moving, I don't know if that's part of the unusual as well. I'm assuming it is just because it's called hazardous radiation. So those do, that does look like hazardous tape to stay away from this person, I guess. To me, it looks more like radar pings and I can actually see on the body, where, like the cuts to where the, the foggy greenness effect is. So I don't know how that would look on a character. We'll have to see. But I do like the idea of the caution tape at the bottom of the feet. I think that looks really cool as well. Altogether, a good combo, good combo. Remember when I said this guy would have more? Well, here's another one by Geo Fennec. This is, uh, the title of this one is called the One Bill Special. So I'm assuming this was supposed to come out during the One Billion Celebration event. The only reason I don't think this would have made it out is because unusuals like this that have, you know, stuff sprouting out of the head and kind of falling all around, it would be hard to actually see what's going on if you have cosmetics around your head. It would be hard to see that actually sprouting out. You'd really pretty much only be able to see it if you didn't have much on your head, then you could see it sprouting out of the head. Otherwise, you'd just see it like falling out of people's hairs or something like that. The 1 billion, like right here, it says 1B. That's easy to read, but inside the match, it might be difficult, especially if you're running around. And I don't know whether or not if you're running around with this, the 1 bill particle effects would like kind of make a trail if you were to run or if it would just look like this. So maybe that's why as well. I don't know how hard it is to actually make something like that. It looks like confetti, which is exactly what you want for a 1 billion celebration, but it's unfortunate that this this unusual did not make it to the, you know, one bill event. I don't think any unusual actually appeared in the one bill event, right? I think it was just cosmetics and stuff. I don't think there was any one billion celebration unusual. So this would have, this would have definitely made up for that. This next one is by 130th Alt Give Therapy. The title of this is called Open Window. What? <laughs> That's what this looks like? Wait, the unusual is literally, oh, it's, it's a window behind you. This unusual also has those shiny sparkle effects again. Like we said before, I don't think sparkle inside of like if you're mixing sparkles with unusuals you gotta go back to the original unusuals in the game there are some unusuals that people are combining from the original ones and putting it into their own creations like the shining sparkles obviously the sparkles is a top tier thing to use in unusuals but the only reason i don't think this one would make it in is because it was using those sparkles the open window i don't know about this one it's a neat creation and i like the blue aura it's just the window in the background sort of looks like a freaking png from google i'm not gonna lie i don't know if that was actually created by this person or if they just like slapped an image and you know turned it transparent with the black outlines i don't know if that's what they were going for here even if it was just blue that was i was just gonna hint at that if it was just blue i think i would like to buy that as well but that would also go back to the originality of other unusuals because they have like smoke screen unusuals with different colors so if it was just the blue like the part that i liked that probably won't be in the game either interesting unusual though very interesting indeed this next one is by zono or xono i i know there's a way to say that i just don't know how the title of this is called digital flare and it's for blocky it says it's performance friendly and it has a trail. So that's interesting. This has a trail to it. I wish we could see what that trail looked like. It has different color variations. So I love that. The reason I like this unusual so much is because it's like, hey, the sparkle effect is something already in the game. If I want to add that to my unusual, let me try to create it and make it original myself. And that's exactly what they did here. They went ahead and made their own shiny sparkles that are blocked for them and recolored it to neon textures comparing to what color that the whole unusual was. Like for the blue one, it has the blue neon sparkles with a shiny effect. I think that looks super dope. And the unusual aura around it as well, this looks really cool. It looks really trippy and I love unusuals like that. This is an unusual I would definitely purchase. I would definitely purchase this type of unusual. And it actually would probably be interesting if both of the effects were different unusuals as well, because it's kind of like its own unique creation. I think a lot of people would definitely purchase an unusual if it just had the custom little blocky sparkles like these have. Overall though, this is definitely an A tier unusual. I love this one so much. Our next one is by the first one we looked at by all new lows. The title of this one on the left is called Atomic, and the one on the right is called Sunburst. Sunburst, okay. Sunburst was used in YouTube thumbnails like a long time ago. I'm assuming some people still do it, but it just kind of gives off that effect, and that's exactly kind of what it is. It kind of reminds me of like a wildflower vibe though. Like, yeah, it's a sunburst, but it looks like an actual burst. It doesn't just look like a radiating 2D image. This kind of has like a fire effect to it, like it's shifting back and forth. That makes the sunburst unique. So the one on the right, the sunburst, definitely a good creation. Let's go ahead and look at the one on the left. It's called Atomic. So this one looks like it's supposed to be composed of atoms or something kind of getting sucked into the head. Pause on that one. It actually kind of looks like some type of stargazing as well because there's actually lines being connected to all the dots you can see as it comes into the head. 
pause again. This one is an interesting idea. The one on the left, for some reason though, like it doesn't look pleasant to look at. I don't know if it's the colors of everything. I really don't know what it is about it, but it, it just doesn't look like an unusual I'd probably go ahead and, and wear. I feel like if it had way more color to it, then kind of like these particles that are just appearing and getting sucked into the head, where then you can see the color for a couple of seconds until you got to see more reappearing. Like that's, I think that's the vibe I'm getting at here. There's not too much for color. There's not too much that I'm seeing. It's not a bad unusual, but it's probably something I wouldn't wear. This next one is also by 130th Alt Give Therapy. The title of this one is called Radioactive Cloud and the Fallen Star. I'm assuming the radioactive cloud is on the left and the fallen star is on the right. The radioactive cloud, the one on the left, let's go ahead and talk about that one first. The radioactive cloud on the left reminds me of the thundering one that's already in the game. It's like a thunderstorm. It has the gray cloud and then it has, you know, rain coming down. That's what it reminds me of. Radioactive cloud kind of looks like a fart cloud. That's another thing I'm getting at here. The other radioactive unusual we did look at, I think I would rather wear that one over this one. Probably something I wouldn't wear for just a green cloud above my head and then raining. It looks like it's raining down um, green stuff as well. This looks like just a recolored texture. Actually, you know what I just saw? It has lightning effects to it as well. I don't know if the thundering one has lightning effects at all. This one looks like it has lightning effects. So I didn't see that before. It looks really cool. If this was like just a cloud of some sort and then it had the thundering effect, I think that'd look really dope. Or the lightning effect, not thundering. The lightning would look really cool just by itself rather than being like in a radioactive cloud that is. The one on the left, the fallen star, looks like some type of black hole. I like the colors around it. And this one also has like rain effects coming down. I just see either rain effects or like just drooping like the colors are drooping off the black hole if so that would look really cool but it's also dripping into the cosmetic area as well for the head so i don't know if you'd be able to see it too much but like having that thing above your head actually doesn't look that bad there are plenty of unusuals in the game right now that have those effects that just kind of linger above the head area so this one would definitely fit into that category i think this also has the sparkles again there are a lot of unusuals that have that same sparkle effect so that's the only reason i don't think there's too much going on for this unusual that other unusual we looked at where it had like its own custom sparkle effect i think that looked really cool compared to people just reusing this one sparkle texture effect inside of their unusual submissions all right this next one is by siege and the unusual submission is called butterflies utilizes flip books to animate it okay the effect could be moved to the torso so it gives the illusion that they're flying out of your body as you run around i think that'd be pretty cool let's go ahead and actually see what it does okay so it has like little butterflies kind of flying out the head there honestly i kind of agree with you i think this would look really good if it did come out of the torso area and not so much out of the head because I feel like if you are in first person this would just be really annoying because it looks like the butterflies fly right out in front of your face definitely would be a cool torso area especially if you're running and while you're running they're like kind of flying out of your body I think that'd be really cool I do like the pink though I like the pink butterflies and they're flapping their wings as they're coming out as well so that that looks really cool overall though I think this unusual would look dope in the torso body this next one is by can't count to 10 again the titles we got hellfire and lavender inferno the info here unusual effect which contains two color variants each with a server script that makes the lights flicker that's literally the same info from the other one we looked at by can't count to 10 but let's go ahead and take a look here so i'm guessing this one is the hellfire because he had he uploaded like two different videos the hellfire one is literally just like a burning effect okay i love when there are ooh daytime thank you i love when there are unusuals that do include the fire effect but then they also include the burning effect a lot of people don't do that when they're making fire unusuals in an actual fire you have you know the fire which everyone draws the red and the orange or whatever like that but then there's also the black smoke around it which kind of creates like this head is on fire so the black smoke combined with the fire combustion looks really dope and this also has particle effects kind of flying out as well the hellfire looks really cool definitely an a tier unusual and then he had another one called the lavender inferno which is the okay so lavender inferno looks like the same one it's just recolored this one's also in purple i think the other one that we looked at that can't count to 10 made was also in purple. I do like the purple effect. So I would definitely wear the purple one more than the red one. I think it looks really cool in a fire form. So that's the only reason I would also give this one an A tier as well. Okay, so the last ones we're gonna look at is actually all made by the same creator and that is Scouth or South. I don't know how that name is. It's SC6UTH. The title of this one is called Paralyzed, made by Plastico. Ooh, another all body unusual. And this one has like an electrifying effect. Okay, it looks like the electrifying effect though, it plays really 
really fast. It shocks and then like a couple of seconds after, like one to two seconds, I think it's two seconds after, it shocks again. If that's how this unusual was where it just continuously shocked, I feel like that would be annoying. If it shocked right away and then it shocked like maybe 10 seconds after or five seconds after, so it just wouldn't be repeatedly shocking your entire body, um, I think that would be better. But having that shock effect is actually really cool. I'm trying to look at it. It looks like the, the way they made the shock effect was like, you ever get those knife slings, like those knife slashes in video games where like you make the slash and it has that white line. It looks like a bunch of those combined together and it kind of just makes it look like a, a paralyzed effect, like a shock effect. I think that's what they're getting at here. Plastico did have some other ones as well. He had one more we're gonna look at here and it's actually called Angelical. Wings might be glitchy, but that can be fixed later. I think this was an OBS issue because you recorded with that. I use OBS. You're just doing it wrong. So this one's also made by Plastico. Woo! I don't know whether or not the rain in the background is actually, no, I think the rain in the background is, is for the game that he's on right now. This looks really cool. I love the angelic wings on the back. This looks so dope. And then it has like the, uh, the halo as well above, like a celestial halo. It looks really glowy as well like a shiny blue tint to it. And the halo tops it off as well. I wonder if that's unusual, if it ever did come to the game, if you would have an option to like deselect the halo or deselect the wings and just wear one or the other. That would be a really cool idea with unusuals that have multiple effects to it. Overall, this one's an A tier one as well. This looks, this was really cool. Really dope indeed. And that's gonna do it for this episode of reviewing people's unusual submissions. We could go ahead and make more episodes like this in the future where we review submissions and the submission tab on the Evade Discord that aren't just unusuals. I I wanted to check out the unusuals right away since I do take a huge liking towards that specific category in Invade. Let me know if you guys want more episodes like this in the comment section down below on either other content or just more unusual stuff again. And also let me know your guys' opinions on these unusual submissions in the comment section down below. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. My name is JMT and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.